Good morning, everyone. Is it good? I don't know. I had a phone call last night from uh, my one landlord slash neighbor. Bulls are out again. Only this time it wasn't just bulls. There were some horses out too. And came over to the other neighbor's place that has all these bulls. Nobody's home. Making phone calls and messaging on different platforms trying to get a hold of the owner he finally got back to me kind of lost my marbles on him a little bit saying that this is not acceptable that's not how we do things out here because he's not from here he said well the hired man's out there i said well your hired man's a dumbass and he doesn't know how to do his job because he won't fix the fence or nothing anyway i'm going for a drive checking on things and there's still bulls out I don't know about the horses. I didn't see any yet. I'm at his yard. The vehicle's here. And nobody wants to answer the damn door. The tractor's sitting right there. And it's friggin' pushing 9 o'clock a.m. My guess is the guy's still in bed. Or gal or whoever it is. The hired person is still in bed, is my guess. When I was taking that machine, that Valmar applicator, grass applicator, fertilizer applicator, back to uh, uh, Blair's Egg, that vehicle was just flying, coming off the highway. And I kind of thought, well, that's got to be the hired man. He probably got an ass chewing because I chewed the owner out a little bit. And he probably got his ass chewed out over the phone. But the friggin' fence is loose. Very loose. All along here, I'm looking at the wires through the trees. Along my side, on the land that we rent, the wires are broken. Along the grid over this way, I saw broken wires and it's right in a slough. Like, you, we just had a crazy ass winter with all the snow and wind, and trees fall down, trees fall on the fence. Well, it's gonna break the wire or knock them, real, make them really loose. So get out there and fix the damn fence so the animals stay in, right? Mm, so. And he still has animals out. Well, there's three there. But there, right there, look. You can see. Urge. Slow down, Panna. And if you look close, I'm sure you guys can see how the wire is right on the damn near uh it's broke somewhere in the bush back there because the wire is really loose i'm just kind of doing this video here right now recording all this so we got something to go by for later on and in, in the future like there's animals out there walking with a limp, that one black guy, but right up here, you see the fence right there, there's trees on top of the fence and the top two wires are almost touching the fourth wire, it's a four wire fence, four or five, one, two, three, four, five wire fence, so the top three wires are right right down to the fourth wire and the animals are just walking right over top so for the animals to get from over here my cows are in that bush way over there they got to go across what well this is seeded now they have to go all the way across that they have to cross that electric wire which is not turned on right now but there's nothing out there for it to be turned on my cows are fenced up in that bush pasture over there and 
there's three or four bulls right against the fence up against my cows this gate in this corner is closed there they are right there red ones From what I saw, there's three reds and a black that are out. And according to the landowner that I rent from, uh, there's also a couple of horses. In fact, he had horses in his yard. I mean, that's just freaking ridiculous. It doesn't take much of a fence to keep a horse in. So if the horses are even getting out, like, what the fuck? Now, am I going to go chase those bulls? Theoretically, I should be. But we've been dealing with these animals getting out continuously over the past little while. And nobody wants to fix fence. It's not even our fence to fix. And they don't want to fix their own goddamn fence. I'm almost leaning towards impounding the animals. If I'm going to round them up, lock them up in my fucking corral. Because the RM doesn't have an actual pounds keeper. And this gate is closed, so somebody closed that gate last night. The, uh, the landowner never, but somebody else did. But yeah, I'm almost tempted to lock the friggin' round the bulls up lock him into the fucking corral at home and if he wants him back he has to pay us for our time and our effort to friggin deal with this because this is ridiculous already anyway I'm going to let you guys go we'll talk to you later alrighty guys finally when hooked up to that thing check tires flat freaking tire all it needs is a freaking tube it's an old 15 inch car tire that's on there. Nope. Nobody local has a 15 inch freaking tire tube. Got to freaking run to the city. Well, after freaking around, I don't even know what time it is right now. 10.30, 11 o'clock. There's no point in freaking starting your day until after 8 o'clock in this country because nobody works before 8 a.m. Anyway. Uh, ended up finding another tire put that on the tires holding air but now the fucking valve stem is leaking a little bit well I only need it to last for about four hours right so to hell with it I'm going we're gonna fucking go we're gonna get this harrowed and when I go to move this thing home I'll just uh, take the air tank out there and throw some air in it because we got to get rocking and rolling here. Like, my God, this last friggin' 80 acres, 85 acres left to do is going to take forever. The stuff that we had straight pipe spray, the friggin' weeds are coming in already. And that was two weeks ago. So, yeah, we got to get the friggin' oats in the ground over there. Jesus, it's just not going worth a damn today. Between the neighbor's bulls and screwing around with tires... Hopefully, the rest of our day will go better. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Alrighty, guys. Well, that's all done. She smoothened it out pretty pretty good, actually. I was thinking, ah, oh, we might have to hit it two times, but after doing her, I don't think we'll have to worry too much about it. It uh, worked out pretty good. So we're just going to fold this up. I was going to leave it out here, but because that tire does have a slow leak, uh, I'm going to take the sucker home. And that way it's at home for when I need to fill it up with air next time. Hey, 
Anywho, let's get this sucker folded up and get it home and we'll yammer at y'all later. Now that there is a hell of a woman. She's telling me to get the hell going. Go to work. She's working. <laughs> She's fixing fence all around the bail yard. So she can put her ponies out here. They kind of got buggered up from the snow and the bales and so on and so forth. She had to put a couple of posts in. Looks like she got them pretty good. Getting some spits on the window. Um, all fueled up. 74% friggin' death fluid. I friggin' death, you know. The tractor burns up a hell of a lot of fucking death. I'm actually quite, first tractor I've ever had with death fluid and I'm actually quite surprised at how much it's chewing up. It goes through, but anyway, now we gotta go and disc that other friggin' organic field, that other 42 and a half acres or so. Yeah, fun, right? And then we'll seed it down and then we'll get to this. That's oats. And that we're just going to direct seed. We don't have to disc that down or nothing. We're just going to direct seed. Till it, no till it in. And uh, maybe do a harrowing on top of that. Anyways. Let's get to the field and find out how bad it really is. I'm really hoping that that other field we can uh, disc right through all the low spots and water runs, but won't know till we get there. Talk to you then. Oh, we're giving her, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it looks like after we go through it with the disc. That's what it looks like before, and you can see it's starting to get green out there. So the friggin' weeds are coming back. So this will help knock, knock them backwards a little bit, and maybe get the seed in here and give that crop a chance to get established and get going. I got to turn here right away, so I'll bring you guys back in a minute. We're making dust. But there is moisture down there. Like, I came real close to getting stuck a couple times today already. And I was on the outside edge, outside round, close to a slough. We were scratching hardcore, popper in four wheel, and she just pulled her on through, lift a little bit, and yahoo, you gone. Oh, so, we're not cutting real deep but we're cutting deep enough to help smoothen this out so that's the whole idea more than anything is just to smoothen this out because yeah pre-working with cultivators for the birds I guess maybe if I had a basket a tumble basket on the back side of the cultivator that would help but I ain't got that kind of stuff I ain't that rich Maybe one day when I get to be a big big farmer like millennial farmer, lol. I can use some of my YouTube money when I get to be big like him with a million subs to buy some fancy equipment. Anyways, I'm gonna let y'all go. We're gonna continue on out here try and get this done here this afternoon so that we can be seeding in here tomorrow we'll talk to you guys later have a good day alrighty guys well we're out here seeding it's uh what the hell is it 9 30 something like 9 30 at night I got the best helper around What's that say? I'm bouncing too much. I can't see 20 it. 20 after 9. 20 after 9. Uh, 
so we'll get. Up? Am I who? Are you sucking up? Nope. What'd you do wrong? I don't know. <laughs> what I do wrong, guys? So, but we filled the machine. It's right full, and we going. We'll get the opening rounds done here tonight, anyways, and uh, see what happens. So, lifted the machine so because this is pretty powdery, so it's not so deep, and so yeah, we set it so it's seating a lot shallower. Because the machine <laughs> set it so it seats shallower, but it's still seating at the same depth because the machine is sinking in the ground. How's that sound? So, boy. The neighbor's crop is coming up. He was seeding that the day I was pre working this orgasmic land with the cultivator. But it worked up nice with the disc, that's for damn sure. Anyways, I'll let you guys go. We're going to keep on seeding here. Fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done. We'll catch y'all later.